So first what I'm going to do is fit the diamond cutting tool to this router body. So the first thing is to disconnect the vacuum air hose, loosen the lock nut on the back, back it off and undo the vacuum base. With the vacuum base removed we can now access the main head so we remove, loosen the allen key holding the collar adapter in place and we can remove that. Okay. So I'm going to basically loosen the body and the collet fitted should be the 6mm. Okay. Take it to just hand tight. Okay. We then fit the collar body and then the correct cutter that we want to use. We then move the collar body out against the cutter and we move it about three millimeters further forward, an eighth of an inch. Okay. At this point, we can then tighten the body. And with that in place, the tool head should extend about 25 millimeters. Okay. Or approximately one inch from the head of the router. We then, once that's done, tighten up the collar adapter and then refit the vacuum base. The vacuum base needs two full threads. So, one, two. Okay, and then just nip it up by hand. Next is to rotate the vacuum connections in line with the hose. So we take the body of the router, hold it here. Do not hold this end here because it will snap, <laughs> not quite. So take the two in your hand, rotate. Rotate the two so these two align. Okay. With those aligned, you can reconnect the vacuum hose and the cutter is set. Where the cutter protrudes, it now leaves space for the jigs.